get this party started. I got the music playing loud. How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kind of proud. I got my dancing shoes on and I'm feeling dangerous. Let's get this party started. Yeah, we gon' be adventurous. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today. So today I am back at the channel with another speed build and this time I am creating a Victorian kind of, I don't know, maybe Rome, uh, uh, American Gothic kind of home and I'm doing this in Strangerville. So this house is uh, located on a 30 by 20 size lot. I am gonna include three bedrooms, three bathrooms, an office and also a hobbies room inside this house so there's actually a lot of space for a tiny lot as 30 by 20 for some people 30 by 20 is large for me it's way too small but i could manage to fit everything in that i wanted to the only place that i did struggle for room was the backyard that is the only place that i was like mona this is way too small but that was the size that I you know, had to work with. So there's a eeny meeny tiny backyard, but there is a gorgeous front yard. This house definitely had curb appeal and you all know I am, I am all for curb appeal. So loving the front of the house and actually the back also looks really cute. So I also really like how that one looks. And it has everything that you need. So I have the backyard with a nice little porch area. You can add in a barbecue if you want to. I did not add in one because I forgot. Um, I also add in a swing set for your kids to play with. And, and you don't need more. I mean, maybe some gardening equipment, but that is something that you can definitely buy yourself when you're playing with the house. So I do am um, feeling very... Uh, I feel that the back garden is sufficient <laughs> for playing the game. Anyways, the house is really taking shape. Love the roofing. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun roofing this house. Roofing uh, is one of my favorite things to do. Roofing, landscaping, um, terrain editing is also something that I love to do. But definitely doing these more intricate roofing on traditional houses is something that I really like doing. Usually back in the day when I was more you no know, modern, <laughs> I was afraid of doing roofs. <laughs> roofs are like, for so, so, even I don't know, it was something that felt really uh hard <laughs> but you know when you do it a little bit more often you definitely get the hang on it uh, and i definitely like how this roof turned out especially with the little detailing that i'm gonna add in later so now it just looks a little bit like you know plain normal roofing and then later on i'm gonna add in some spikes and some details with the get together pack just so that it gets a little bit more interest and definitely takes it a step further to that American Gothic kind of Victorian vibe uh, that I was going for. So yeah, definitely loving the roofing. Um and the entire shape of the home is just fun. It's a fun little shape. Um, so yeah, basically that is what I needed to say about the exterior. And for color wise, you probably saw it in the house overview. We're gonna go with a nice white and blue siding at the exterior. It was really in between yellow orange and blue for me but i thought let's go for more of a muted kind of neutral color this time because i already did a very um yellow one last time so i thought let's do a blue and white one and make it more neutral and i do feel that that is definitely what the house needed um because now the front yard uh, definitely spoke up a little bit more and this house definitely was focused on the curb appeal that I tried to create. So very, very happy with that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, the hobby room that I'm going to create in this house is going to be a knitting room. And it's going to be located in the tiny little tower. I just thought that was a really nice little touch to add in. Because this video is actually also for a giveaway that I wanted to do for... I think a couple of weeks now I have this code sitting 
in uh you know on my desktop top for like a few weeks now ever since nifty knitting came out i got an extra coat and i was just waiting until i found the right video to give it away at first i thought let's do it in the first two videos that i created for nifty knitting but everyone was doing that and i thought no let's just wait a little bit and then i waited too long and i now i thought no mona let's just build a house focus the hobby be on knitting and give away your code that is just sitting there on your desktop so for the people who want to enter the giveaway <laughs> um, just go into the comment section comment anything in there just anything I would like to hear maybe you know um, what's your favorite stuff pack what's your favorite game pack or expansion pack what do you love about this game just comment anything um, in there and then uh, also subscribe of course to the channel and like the video those are the three things that you need to do to enter and then I will choose a winner next weekend so it will take a week <laughs> before I uh, choose a winner it's gonna be probably on Friday or either Saturday so you know keep that in mind <laughs> if you want to win the pack I will announce it in a week and enter just comment subscribe and like those are all the things that you need to do to win the nifty knitting stuff back so very excited for the winner everyone good luck <laughs> and hopefully you know you win the pack and if not maybe enter a new one because i actually have another code laying around not nifty knitting something else so yeah keep keep an eye on the channel for that anyways you're starting with my curb wheel garden or front garden and love how this one turned out so i saw multiple simmers do this already so this is definitely not original content for me this is a not original idea i did steal this uh, and i think the first simmer that i saw this doing i don't know if he invented this but i the first simmer that i saw doing this sort of kind of grass is Yorkie. Yorkie is an amazing simmer builder and also storyteller. And I saw him doing this with one of his uh, like modern mansions and I was just blown away. I was like, oh my gosh, this is genius. And it's been like a half year or so since I saw him do that. So it's been a while um, and I've wanted to do it like forever and I always forgot about it. <laughs> but for this build, this was perfect to make this fake kind of, you know, lines like the grass has been just mown or anything like that. So I, I really like how that looked. So I, I I decided to implement it and it looks really nice. I also use a few of the, the bog uh, flowers or not flowers, the trees and bushes. They are just a few really nice bushes that I found recently which were probably always there but I never used them but I found them recently those two bushes right here and then the three little bushes connected to each other they are just perfect for landscaping so I added those in and I think that the landscaping looks really really nice so I'm very happy with how that turned out and we're gonna keep it very minimal that is like the only landscaping that I'm gonna do at the front maybe add in another tree and a few bushes but that's it we're keeping it clean and simple and let the front garden and the front curb appeal really speak volumes that is what we're going for so yeah definitely like how that uh how that turned out so um yeah that is basically it so if i sound a little bit weird or you know that I'm, I'm gonna slow down in some points with talking is because I am sick I I really 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 have a very sore throat and sometimes it does hurt to talk just so that you know so uh, if I sound weird or anything or if I take a sip of water it's because it's because of that <laughs> um so yeah anyways you're doing the backyard of course in the backyard i also wanted to incorporate those lines those lines are you know we have it at the front and the front let's do it in the back as well i mean it's a tiny garden but still i also added in a really nice deck so that deck is large enough like i said for a barbecue for chilling and relaxing um so i do not feel that we need more space right there and i also like that little balcony that I added in at the front and also at the back it's just a fun little thing to do so the one thing that I kind of was a little bit bummed out with this build is um 
I actually needed that freely tile placement for this build because you saw me struggling with the door and then placing two windows right next to each other. I couldn't do that. And that's because I created this house before the patch got released. So yesterday there was a new patch, uh, the pre game pack patch that we always get before a game pack stuff pack or expansion pack gets released. We always get a patch a few days earlier and usually always on the same day. <laughs> and uh, in that patch, there's always something new, some bug fixes, and they give us a uh, free window placement. And I feel that the free, I mean, we already gotten free window placement, but not really free window placements because yes, we could take them off the grid, you know, go in between um, the sections and the wall sections and such, but we still couldn't place two windows right next to each other or on top of each other, uh, sharing the same tile. And now we can, we can have windows share the same tile, uh, which is awesome. And it's a game changer, especially when you're doing like these mid-century modern homes, uh, which usually have like very high walls and they definitely share windows in there but also with other designs but mid-century modern is just the first thing that popped in my mind because i was building one um but yeah it's a game changer now we can do so many new things we can also make like custom arches with windows arches and doors and oh we can go all out and go crazy and then incorporate tool with it <laughs> I, I think kate emerald is gonna have a field day with the update <laughs> um yeah this just is a game changer for uh for us builders so i was so so happy and stoked when i saw the tweet on my uh, Twitter feed. I was like, yes, there's something because I was waiting and waiting and waiting for, you know, some news, some updates, just something because the Sims had their sixth, I mean, the Sims 4 had their sixth uh, birthday anniversary, I think two days ago now, the 2nd of September. And the entire day on the 2nd of September, I was sitting in front of my computer watching Twitter come by. And I was like, okay, there's gonna be an announcement. Like any minute now, we're gonna get some kind of, you know, celebratory update, maybe even just a t-shirt or anything like that. But, you know, I, I was ready for anything. And we've got the nothing on that day. And I was so disappointed because I actually waited and waited that entire day. And there was nothing. So I was very disappointed. So then the next day, the day of the packed patch release, I thought that there was just going to be bug fixes. And then, of course, you know, getting the game ready for um, the new game pack. And that's it. That's all that I expected to get from the patch so then when i saw the tweet that the windows were freed i was like yes <laughs> yes we finally get something so yeah definitely made my day a whole lot better yesterday and um, so here what am i doing i'm furnishing the living room so i did the kitchen i talked way over it but the kitchen loved the layout did you see that there's a little island it's just a really nice layout and then here the living room i love the living room as well i didn't want to incorporate a you know a flat screen tv or anything like that because i felt that it didn't really fit in with the aesthetic of the house so i'm going with this old kind of sims one to, I don't know which Sims was this television from. I actually can't remember. But yeah, I decided to add in this television and it felt it, that it made more sense here in Strangerville in this old Victorian home. I just killed it up, placed it there. And I think it looks really cute. <laughs> Definitely love that. And I also added in lots and lots of clutter and flowers and detail. I mean, it's lots of clutter for me. For actual clutterholic, <laughs> it's probably not that much. But for me, I added in a lot of little details. And I'm very happy with how this entire console, this, this uh, television console thingy turned out. I love it. And I think it looks really nice. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm doing right now. I had a little bit of issues though placing it. Even with the red shelf, it just wouldn't work. Um, it was snapping on, st on things that it needed, you know, it didn't need to be snapping on um, but in the end 
I could make it work. So that was awesome. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I need to say about this little part. Let me take a little sip of my water. Oh my gosh, it's it's empty. <laughs> I had an entire glass of water next to me and it's empty. So I should probably refill that a little bit later on. So anyways, here starting with um, the informal dining area. So we have a formal dining area actually in the kitchen. That is a really large eight-seater kitchen table um so i do think that if there is a dinner party they will do it in the kitchen and then here in the living room there's a smaller dining area and i think that's maybe for breakfast or just when the family is alone they will dine here in the living room but i did feel that it looked really cute there in that little bay window nook just loved how uh you know how that turned out i'm really happy with that then here upstairs we have uh three bedrooms two bathrooms in total so there will be one bathroom downstairs there in the, the tiny little bathroom that's the guest bathroom and then this room right across of the bathroom is the office area which you saw just a tiny bit from but we will go back <laughs> and then here in the front of the build i decided to incorporate some nifty knitting items because this is a nifty knitting giveaway video of course i needed to utilize nifty knitting uh, as much as possible and just add in cute little details everywhere of course using the hanging plants i think that is the um biggest thing for me in this pack so in this is in this uh, stuff pack um that is the the thing that i love the most the hanging plants and the rocking chair the rocking chair is so good for placing on your front porches i love a good front porch especially in my traditional homes a front porch is just a must so i do feel that you know they really work well uh, with the traditional homes and that is what I love from the knitting pack and I also don't mind the gameplay um, I don't mind it at all it gives me sims something to do in between those you know those um, doll spots and uh, when I play the sims I do get a few doll spots that I'm like okay what do I do now I'm waiting to go to work I've done all my chores my house is clean uh what do I do now? I mean, I'm bored. So then I start usually knitting. I, I either do knitting or gardening in between to keep my sims busy. So for me, it was a fun little gameplay to have with the nifty knitting stuff. Like uh, it definitely, uh, how do you say it? It's pleasantly surprised me, nifty knitting. It was not the pack that I wanted and I would have been Happier with Happy Hans. I'm still standing by my decision. Happy Hans would have been better for my gameplay. <laughs> um, but still, I enjoyed the pack. I'm not mad about it. Um, and I do enjoy playing with it. So just so that you know. Um, so anyways, we're up in the second floor. And we're starting with the master bedroom. And I think the master bedroom is the most fun bedroom that is here. In this entire home so the master bedroom of course of course of course gets their own ensuite bathroom very important um, also a little seating area right in the corner with a old dingy television and then there's a ladder leading up to the hobbies room where your sim will be knitting their life away or not maybe knitting their life away but definitely knitting um <laughs> a lot because it's a little tower and i do think that my sim would enjoy sitting there at first i thought maybe turn it into a torture chamber before i knew that this was going to be a nifty knitting uh giveaway video but then Nah, we already did something similar like that in the uh, vampire pack. <laughs> I had little cells and such, uh, which I will link the house tour video here up in the screen if you haven't seen that video yet. If you like to watch house tours, I'm touring my celebrity vampire home, you know, right there. So go check that out if you're interested in that. And I added in a little area with cells for food 
uh, meal food <laughs> in there. Anyways, where are we? Oh yeah, we're furnishing still the master bedroom. So I did try to add in, you know, those little touches here and there, add in lots of flowers, um, you know, uh, paintings and such, just to make it more homely and lived in. And then here in this tower, I decided to cram in as much nifty knitting items as I possibly could. So here we have the... What is this called again? Um, the rocking chair. We have the uh, desk area where you can actually sit at. I did play test this little room. Everything is functional. So your sim can actually sit on the desk, use the laptop that I'm going to add in, and they can also sit on the rocking chair and knit, which is really nice. And I love the colors that I'm using. The colors are just so vibrant and fun uh, with the Nifty Knitting Pack. Uh, I mean, it's not colors that I am drawn to a lot. I'm more drawn to grays and like all the shades of gray in general. If there was a stuff pack called 50 Shades of Gray, I would be there for it just to have everything in a gray color. But still, I feel that uh, the Nifty Knitting colors are really cute and fun. Um, and I know my daughters love using the items in their gameplay and uh, in their you know, in the houses that they create. Um, so here, starting with the kids' bedroom. So for the kids' bedroom, I wanted to go more to the gothic side. <laughs> I don't know. I thought this how this this kid is a goth. He's he's a gothic kind of. I don't know, either a boy or a girl I actually didn't have a gender in mind when I was building this. Um, but yeah, the kid that's living here is really into the Strangerville vibe. Uh, he or she really loves to solve the mystery. And that's why I added in all these posters of Nessie and, you know, the conspiracy posters. It's a little bit of a tiny conspiracy theorist in uh, the making, <laughs> which I thought was fun. Also a little bit of a messy kid because all of his belongings are there on the floor. Floor, which you know as a mom seeing that drives me insane just off the bed like oh my gosh it, no just no my kids their rooms I always clean them up when they are at school yes I know not great parenting because I should probably make them clean them themselves and I do try to make them clean their own rooms but usually when they do I redo it anyways because it's not up to my standard. I'm so awful. Um, yeah. I just think that clean rooms are... How do you say that? Relaxing. I like a nicely cleaned up room. It just makes me feel more zen. Um, so yeah, I do clean my kids' rooms so a lot. Um, anyways, and then here, starting with the nursery. And the nursery is a nursery and also a toddler bedroom, of course. Because I find making a nursery with only a crib is just a waste of space. Because my babies are babies for like two seconds. I, I don't do baby gameplay in The Sims 4. I just don't. I find it boring. Just boring as hell. Yes, we've got the new onesies for our babies. Uh, but that's nothing that I can do anything with. I just watch the stupid onesie. It's nothing. So yeah, my, my babies are babies for like two seconds. Uh, I used to play it differently. Um, like way back, I tried to get my uh, green bar as full as I possibly could with the baby before I ate them up. And yes, I do play usually with aging off or aging on the longer side. I don't like playing with the normal aging on because I feel that my sims age too fast. So that you know that's because maybe if you have like normal aging, the aging span is like, I think two days for a sim baby. So that's fine. But if you are playing with the longer one, it's longer. And if you play with aging off, it ne it's never. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I do make them in toddlers like almost immediately now uh, which is fine but I do hope that the, you know we're gonna have that baby update someday right I mean they did release a statement yesterday that they were working on it but it, it won't be included in the next expansion pack which is sad but but Okay, we're not getting babies, we're not getting farming, we're not getting bunk beds, um, or I don't know, there was something else, but I forgot. But maybe 
just maybe the next expansion pack will be hotels. Maybe we're getting that ski resort after all. And actually, I, I thought, hoped that the Star Wars pack was gonna be their ski resort. So maybe we're getting the ski resort with hotels and stuff. And it's gonna be amazing. If it's gonna be hotels, I will be the happiest girl in the world. Because I love, love island living not island living a uh, paradise island paradise sims 3 oh my gosh when you, when you could re run your own resort i love that i still play that so if we're getting something similar like that for the next ep count me in i'm all that but yeah it's still all up to speculation of course because no one knows a damn thing but hopefully it's gonna be something like that for the new ep coming in a few weeks they said um so yeah anyways i also hit the <laughs> how do you call this the litter box down in the staircase um just for funsies i did that so yeah if you're wondering where the litter box it's right there underneath the stairs so anyways that is the video you all hopefully you enjoyed this little voiceover of mine leave a like of course if you did and of course if you're liking what you're seeing please subscribe to the channel for more and hit the notification bell so that you would never ever miss a video of mine so that's it you all hopefully you're having an awesome day wherever you are and i will see you in the next one Bye-bye. <laughs>